Hello, Internet. That's you. Welcome to this 24th day of September. And um, week two is in the books. So let's move on to week three. I am going to start this off uh, on a bit of a somber note. My condolences go out to, to Jessica Simpson on her loss. Apparently, her little dog's life was ended by a vicious coyote attack. Yeah, coyote attack. Uh, <laughs> I can't make this up, people. But uh, why is this newsworthy is what I want to know. And I'm not talking about Inquirer newsworthy. This was reported by CNN. Oh, man. Let's get on to some football action because that's why we're all here, right? You know I was going to start off with the Jets. have to. But, uh, look... I like to see I like to see uh, the Patriots and Brady get stomped uh, just as much as anyone else, if not more so. But please get off this whole Brady was scared bit. Brady wasn't scared, okay? Brady was rushed. Brady, Brady was rushed by one of the league's best defenses, and that's factual. Uh, I mean, the this, this, this statistics show that they're one of the best defenses um, right now. I'm not saying they're the best ever, but right now. So it's not just a biased opinion. Um, and uh, that's what a great quarterback looks like when he's, when he's standing in the pocket half a second from a, a full-on highlight reel blitz from the safety every other play, okay? He wasn't scared. He faced a good defense, a great defense. So um, from, a, from the defensive uh, perspective side of the ball, real happy. Last week I told you that um, I wanted to see Sanchez face a real defense before... Um, I clear a spot to Canton, but uh, he faced a real defense. I'm still not ready to, to put him in Canton by no means, but um, what I like about the kid is is he made some mistakes. He didn't have the greatest first half, okay? Uh, he's th three, three uh, I think it was three for, for, let's see, three of five for 15 yards. Yeah, hardly good, right? But, um, you know, he comes out the second half. He picks himself up. He brushes himself off. He, draw, he drives the team down the field and, um, and puts some points on the board. And that's what I'm most depressed about. So, um, I'm happy from the offensive side of the ball. But I've got to tell you what, my MVP after two games, it's not Mark Sanchez or, or Vinny Chase, as Lauren likes to say. Uh, he does look like Vinny Chase. For those of you who don't know who Vinny Chase is, um, wake up and smell the coffee. It's, it's uh, Entourage from HBO. Um, Google it. So uh, anyhow, it's not him. It's Darrell Rivas, I got to say. Uh, week one, he takes Andre Johnson right out of the game. And week two, he puts the clamps on Randy Moss. And um, I tell you, the rest of your defense looks a lot better and smarter when you take your team's number one wide out out of the game. So super happy about that. Um, look, the last time the Jet fans, um, and I'm one of them, well, the last time we were this excited about our football team was... Uh, was nine months ago, okay? And we all know how that ended. We started out 5-0, and oh and look what happened. So um, I think things are going to be a little bit different this, this season, and, um, and only time will tell. We shall see. All right, guys. Um, well, I want to thank everybody for all the comments, good and bad, uh, about the uh, debut of, of the videos. Um, I've been getting comments uh, left and right from people. Um, my, my favorite being from Chuck Fritter, who said, uh, Coochie, you have a face made for radio. Thanks, Chuck. Appreciate that. Let's get some football. Um, how about the 49ers, right? You have uh, Vernon Davis, who's the uh, offensive co-captain. You have Michael Crabtree, who's sitting for the season. And you have Isaac Bruce hauling in bombs. It's pretty safe to say that uh, things are a bit odd in San Francisco. But I think... Mike Singletary has really done uh, done good things with that franchise, and uh, they're on the up and up. They're coming in there. Um, I say um a lot. Hmm, gotta stop that. The Lions. The Lions. What can we say about the Lions? Uh, the Lions have won their last uh, or lost their last 120 games in dog years. Um, it probably feels that way to them too. It's uh, they're 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 awful. And, but I do think they're going to get the win this week. I do. Um, they're playing the Skins, and uh, the Skins are just a major disappointment. Uh, I don't know what's more disappointing, 
week two is Washington Redskins or uh, Megan Fox's lesbian kiss in Jennifer's body. Um, just two big disappointments, really. At, at least the movie has Megan Fox, right? Um, some eye candy. We like Megan Fox, but yeah, the the skins the skins couldn't call, couldn't score if, uh, if it was prom night for Christ's sakes. What about Jay Cutler? Anyone out there like Jay Cutler? Carl Carl Fry probably likes Jay Cutler, right? But he's annoying to me. The kid annoys me. I mean, he's got talent. Don't get me wrong, but rooting for Jay Cutler is like like rooting for the villain in Walker Texas Ranger. It, People pretend pretend to do it because they think it's so cool, but uh, deep down, they're always rooting, pulling for Chuck. They're pulling for Norris, and, and I hate Cutler. I don't really know where I'm going with all that, but I hate Cutler. Yeah. So how about uh, how about Chad Ocho Cinco? He's, uh, I admit that I was hoping that he was going to score so he can do the Lambo leap. Um, I just think it's very funny that he you you look he looked around and he finds four um, Bengals fans in the middle of the sea of of cheese heads. But uh, the secret is Ocho Cinco did he paid for those guys to be there? And uh, you could read the article that I found saying that um, in the link located to the side over there. It's a pretty good article. It's pretty funny though. <clears throat> um, there goes the um again. We should do an um counter, right? How many times does Coochie say um? So flipping around the channels, and I come to the Steeler game, and they're on f their fourth and goal, and the red zone. Perry, the red zone channel. But So they're fourth and goal, and they pass the ball. They run a pass play. The Steelers run a pass play. Fourth and goal. What in the name of Chuck Knoll is going on here? We know something, something's wrong when the Steelers are, are just going away from what makes them Steelers. Um, I, I just don't understand it. Jerry, George, come on. One of you guys, tell me. Jerry Carley, George Beckett, very big Steeler fans. But I, I, I just don't, um, I don't understand. I said something good about Oakland, right, last year, or last, last week. But, uh, and and this, this, this week, you know, a win is definitely a win. But what an ugly, ugly win from Oakland. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, geez, if, if Jamarcus Russell can can throw for even half his weight, um, they, they might have some offense there. But it was just an awful game. Okay, I'm going to wrap things up here. So let's flip over to uh, to the site and take a look at the, uh, the picks and give some shout-outs. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So... Um, first, let's start out with Michael Berman. Congratulations. Week number two winner. 111 points. Michael Berman. Name up, up, up top there. Congratulations. Well done. Only uh, two other people broke the century mark this week. Uh, that was Bobby Riggins with 103 points. Solid. And this next guy, uh, 101 points. This next guy is a rookie. It's his first year in the pool, but uh, you got to dig his name. You know, if Madden can have the old Madden team, I'm going to add this guy to the old Coochie team. This is Iggy Descala. I mean, come on. Hey, who is a paisan, you know? Iggy, Iggy. You, Iggy. You, you did good, you. Real good, Iggy. 101 points, solid. So, um, that was the good. Now let's flip down to the uh, the bad and the ugly. And both those titles are going to, to, uh, to Rob Hinkle. Yeah, 33 points, my man. Awful, awful. This is the same guy who... Uh, who nailed me in a noggin on the golf course at 200 yards out. Doesn't yell four, hits up on me, boom! Not pretty, not pretty. Like his picks, awful. Um, I mean, Ray Charles can see that these picks are awful. It just, I don't know what's worse, Hinkle's picks or Kanye West everything. I'm going to go with Hinkle's picks. I'm going to let him off the hook here and say, um, that's about all that mattered to me. This Thursday, 24th. Hope you guys are enjoying the pool. Make sure you get your picks in. We'll call a wrap. Peace.